Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about parametric EQ2 oversampling and how that's going to affect your signal chain within any given insert. I have a track that I wrote a couple years ago and I have a peak meter here. If you're wondering, this is Levels by Mastering the Mix. I actually really like a lot of their plugins, in particular this one and Expose. That was another one I really love. But Levels, it gives you exactly what it says, Levels. That said, I'm going to play a part of the track, and I want you to watch the peak meter, specifically this area. Now this track was mastered and limited, so that's why it sits where it is on the peak meter at negative 0.2 decibels. I'm going to turn parametric EQ2 on, and I want you to watch the peak meter once again in this area. Yikes, with Fruity Parametric EQ2 on, our peak meter is sitting at 1.2, so that's a problem. I just reset it by double clicking. I'm gonna turn it off. Turn the EQ back on. So obviously something is happening here. So if you're in a rage and thinking, oh, Fruity Parametric EQ2, it's ruining my mixes. No, no, not really. You're probably ruining your mixes if they're bad. Here's what's happening. This. This little button says HQ. We're assuming that means high quality. It actually turns oversampling on or off. Now, I'm not going to go too far into what oversampling is. You can go and look that up, but it has to do with quality. Here's the Wikipedia. In signal processing... Oversampling is the process of sampling a signal at a sampling frequency significantly higher than the Nyquist rate. And if you go to the help file, HQ uses oversampling to improve audio quality, particularly in the region above 15 kilohertz. So in theory, that's improving quality. Watch this. If we turn oversampling off, reset this. So if you're finding the gain within one mixer insert getting a little messed up when you add parametric EQ2, this could be the reason. So that's just food for thought. In the past, I've used parametric EQ2 to raise and lower volumes. And if you're just doing that and you're leaving all the bands flat, turn HQ off. Just be aware that button does make a difference. If you've been using FL Studio for a while, you probably know about that. That's one of those little hidden secrets if you're new to FL Studio. I'm not saying this button is a negative or a positive. I'm saying be aware of it. All right. I hope that helped you. Hope you're having a good summer so far and I'll catch you soon.